Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Sid Retro, man. We out here today at Mio's. We over here at Mio's Mediterranean restaurant, man. Super duper dope spot out here. I'm telling you, it's a it's a hidden gem, man. Not many people know um, about this spot, man. But I'm telling you, it's it, it's on point. It's on point, man. So I'm over here at Mio's. We just hanging out, checking, just talking. You know, what I'm saying, doing that, doing that foodie talk. Just hanging out. Seeing what's going on. They're doing a lot of construction over here downtown. Doing a lot of construction over here downtown. So we out here at Mio's Mediterranean restaurant. Right next to the Starbucks. So if you know where the Starbucks is downtown, just Janice over there, Hoops. They got Mio's over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at Mio's. Greek and Turkish cuisine. Oh, and they got some dope ass lamps in here. So let's take a look around real quick, guys. So we got, uh, got, the, got the spot in the comfy little, little booths with the pillows. We got the Turkish uh, stuff on the walls over here. This is the owner right there. We got the lamps. I love these uh, Turkish lamps. I might have to get one for my moms. Because they're really, really cool. So yeah, guys, we got some Turkish cuisine coming on the way. We just brought some stuff out. I'm not really sure what we got, but we got some uh, some merch over here too, and some good wines. But uh, let's see what's going on. Let's see what they brought out, man. I don't know what's going on. Let's see. Let's see. All right. What do we got over here, man? What do we got? You, What'd you, what'd you bring out? This is our red lentil soup. This is my mom's recipe. Is this one, this is the red one? Uh, no, the, the, this, this one? This, this is the, yeah, the okay. red lentils. And this is um, called fasolada or kuru fasulye in Turkish. Okay, now what's, what's in this exactly? So this is uh, red lentils. Red lentils. Uh, potatoes, uh, carrots, and uh, a little bit of tomato paste. Okay. And some seasonings. Okay. Uh, and then what's inside of this? This is navy beans. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the original navy beans from, from Turkey. Okay. Uh, Soak overnight in the water mm -hmm. and some beef in it and some Ooh. seasonings. These are all like slow cooking. Okay. Processed foods. All right. And then what else we got over here? So, I see some familiar stuff this, over this here. This is hummus. Mm -hmm. This is baba gamush, basically a smoked eggplant. Mm -hmm. The next one is uh, haydari. It is called Turkish lamek. And Which one is the middle? This uh, this one is? Th this is haydar. Yes, Turkish haydar. Okay. And the last one is Turkish tabouli. Turkish tabouli. Okay. What's now? What separates it from the other tabulis? What's the What's the difference? For those that don't know, you know what I mean. So, so um, the Middle Eastern tabouli has um, has more parsley in it. Okay. And has has less uh, tomatoes. Okay. So the color it doesn't basically have colors. It's just mm. So in Turkish tabouli you add more uh, tomatoes in it. Okay. And uh, you get some peppers as well. That's why the color is different on this one. And it's a little bit less parsley so because you don't want to uh, feel like you're eating a salad right so, uh, yeah that's the, that's the main difference okay all right awesome and then we got some uh pitas is that pita yes, yes. all right we got some pita right here so yeah let's check it out guys let's see what's going on with this uh i'm gonna try this uh this soup yeah the orange uh what is it the red soup i'm gonna try this this is your mom's one right right here all right guys we're gonna check this out let's see what's going on see all right. Okay. Get a little bit of everything in there. Okay. Man, it's so different. So, um, some different flavors in there. Man. Is, so, is this have like a mint in here? Is it? Okay. Mmm. Oh, is I supposed to be dipping it? Oh, my bad. I was eating it like a soup. It is that good, though. All right, now we're gonna check out this one with the uh, with the beef and the navy beans. Okay, yeah, this is looking looking pretty good, guys. Let me check this out. All right, we got the beef, got the navy beans, a little bit of the tomato paste. Mmm. Mmm. 
Mm. Yeah, this is really, really good, right? I like, I like this. It's almost like a beef stew, almost, but like the beans are replaced. Instead of potatoes, you got the navy beans in there. Yeah. Um, but the beef is cooked really, really tender and flavorful. Very good. Very good. What is this called again? Oh man, yeah, this is really, really good. I, I like this a lot. I can, I can eat a big bowl of this for sure. Especially if I'm not feeling that well, or it's cold outside. What? I'll tear this up. Good stuff. I'm gonna eat all the, all the meat out of here. This is good. Um, and then this is, you said it's beef, right? Yes. Nice. Mm -hmm. The flavor is really good. like a side I guess like a apple a side or it's a main dish it is mm. nice very very good man um, let me actually let me try your mom's one with the with the how it's supposed to be because I was just eating it like a soup but let's see when it soaks up that flavor with the pita supposed to chew on that side because it had some dental work but it was so good I was like mm. <laughs> really really good um this the pita bread is really good man really good tastes very fresh and very pillowy this is some really good pita man like super duper fluffy and, but more importantly it's fresh all right let's get into the it's homemade pita. I definitely can taste the difference because I buy the pita stuff at the. Yeah, um, and it looks like they slice it and then they do it and then they bake it or something, man. This is really, really good. What's that? This is a spice from Turkey. Mm -hmm. It's called sumak. Sumak? What am I supposed to put this in? Uh, in that? Yes. Is it spicy? Yes, no. Is it spicy? No, it's not spicy. It's oh, not okay. Spicy at all, but it's all right. Good. All right, so I'm adding some of this spice right here. He said, yo, put this in here into the other soup so we can see what's going on in there. All right, that should be enough. But I also want to try it on my finger, before, you know, just to see what, the, what, the, what it tastes like. So let's see what's going on with this taste. Mm-hmm, we got like a little, almost like a little, little, it's a little smoky, you know, a little salt, a little, little, little savory. Okay, guys, it is uh, tastes tastes different now. Good stuff. Does that? So, what do you usually do with that? Is that just like a, a dipping sauce, or uh, does it come like this with the bowl, with the big bowl and the rice and all that? Okay, it's just a soup, so. Got it, got it. Uh, there are two types of soups. Uh, mm -hmm. Mostly, it's either uh, made of green lentils or red lentils. Okay. And this is the red lentil soup. But I this this is really good, too. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get to the hummus. And the tabbouleh and all of that. Let's go. Especially with these... uh. This is really fresh pita, man. It's really good. I'm telling you guys. Oh, man. Let me show you real quick before I mess it up. Mm -hmm. There it is, guys. So let's see what's going on. Is the hummus in the house, too? Or? Everything's homemade. That's what I like to hear. A lot of people, you know, they just go in and get that stuff, that hummus from the store. You know, get that sabra. Was it Sabra, I think? <laughs> you know? Get, get that Publix, the hummus from Publix. You know, we're not doing that. Mmm. That was very good. That was very good hummus. Wow. Last 
comments that I had was not this good. I'm trying to think of who where it was, but it wasn't like this. Mm. That hummus is on point, yo. That hummus is on point. Let's see what's going on with this. Um, I forgot what he said. What was the what was next to the hummus? It was the what? It's the baba ganoush. Baba ganoush. Smoked eggplants, guys. And okay, and all right. I love garlic, man. There's no such thing as too much garlic. Wow, that's different. Man, you're changing the the stuff that I had before. It doesn't taste like this. <laughs> This is really, really good. This is really good, man, because uh, the last places that I had it, it was not as, as fresh and it wasn't as flavorful as this. Man. You guys got to come check them out. This is uh, quite an experience right here. Yeah, so it's just egg, like eggplant, garlic. And then what do we got next? Next to the uh, it's, uh, like a, uh Turkish Nablik. This is the Turkish Nablik, but it really kind of looks like some tzatziki sauce. Well, it's, like, uh, it's thicker than Greek sauce. It's soft, it's like pressed, mm. uh, on what do you put that on everything because <laughs> i want to put that on everything wow that's really good man this is a uh, you know kind of looks like a like the tzatziki sauce better way better quiet because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings but with that sauce right there um, that's a game changer right there man it's, it's gonna be hard to order a euro somewhere else because if because if, if, cause if, if I had that sauce oh, oh my god even on the chicken like I said everything I'll put that on everything right there man that stuff is really really good um, very very you know, I was just at the Greek festival, right? <laughs> you know? Wow. Just saying, guys. Um, what is it called again? Sorry. Labne. Wow. So this is Turkish? Turkish style. Turkish style? Man, this is really, really good. Uh, yeah, this is my favorite so far, for sure. Uh, but that hummus is no joke either. But this right here, man. You got it bottled? <laughs> Can you bottle this? Mm. Sorry, guys. I'm eating the rest of that right now. It is so good, so fresh. Oh, my God. The flavors there are on point, man. I cannot wait. come back definitely gonna come back soon we're gonna do a full episode we're gonna talk about the tour too very very good guys come check out meals grill this is really good really really good Turkish food Mediterranean food you want to call it man everything's fresh made in-house that is definitely verified everything is on point let me check this last thing now that we got what's the last thing tabbouleh what is it tabbouleh right of what okay so we got the tabbouleh 
Let's check out this abuli. Turkish tea. Hold on. Turkish tea. Okay. All right. Homemade Turkish tea. Okay. So most people put sugar in it. Mm -hmm. You can try without sugar. Okay. All right. So this is something we drink like 20 cups a day. 20 cups a day? No coffee, huh? You switch to the tea? All right. So they got the Turkish tea out here for me, guys. So I can, so I can stay awake for the rest of the day. I haven't eaten up these little things, man. Definitely come check out Mio's Grill. This is downtown St. Pete, right next to the uh, Starbucks. Uh, right next to the Starbucks. So come down, come check them out, man. Um, I'm going to be coming back. We're going to do a full episode over here. We're going to um, you know, do a full episode. I'm going to come have dinner and bring the fam bam or, or something. We're going to figure it out because, man, they are doing it correctly, man. And they're keeping it authentic over here, too, more importantly. So, yo, guys. Come check them out. And uh, dang, what was the what was it again? The the sauce that I liked the most? What was it's, it? Uh, Turkish labne. Turkish labne. Come down here and say, yo, I want that Foodies Network 727 Turkish labne sauce. And come check it out because I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. If you like tzatziki sauce, or if you like uh, Mediterranean food, Greek food, I would put that on everything, man. That's the, it's the best. It's definitely the best, hands down. My favorite uh, uh, white sauce, white Mediterranean sauce, hands down, man. Really, really good flavors are amazingly on point. Super, super surprised. I'm like, wow, uh, they changed the game with this one. I've been to a, a couple different, you know, Lebanese restaurants, Turkish restaurants, Greek restaurants, um, but they, they they seem to be doing they doing it completely different than what everybody else is doing. It's, it's, it's no comparison at all, guys. Come check them out. Meals Grill downtown St. Pete. What's the hours over here? If they want to come check you out. And then what's the address? It is uh, 119 Central Street, Okay, downtown St. Pete, guys. Come check them out. They've only been here for like a year and a half. So they definitely come through, come show you support because I'm telling you, nobody's holding it down like this downtown when it comes to authentic food. Everybody's doing a fusion. Everybody's doing their own twist. But my guy here, he, he's keeping it authentic. Got those, got those authentic recipes. He got his mom's recipe on the menu, guys. You know, he's doing it out of the love. And then you were telling me the Mio's. Who's Mio's? Yeah, where, yeah, where's, yeah, where is he at? <laughs> so, yeah. This is Mio. He's the real boss. That's the boss? Yes. He, he's, that's the owner. That's the owner. <laughs> <laughs> so, this spot is named after your dog. He's still with us, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, he's, uh, almost seven. Almost seven. Where, so, he's at the house. He's just hanging out, tearing he stuff is, up? Yes. He's, uh, he's waiting at the house. What is his favorite food here at, uh, from the grill? <laughs> Whatever falls on the floor, right? Oh yeah, court, right? At, yeah, St. Pete, pet friendly. Come bring your dogs out, you know. Let's try this. Let's try this tea, guys. Cheers. Cheers. I did it with no sugar, because you know. Okay, that's not Lipton, you know. <laughs> yeah, some good stuff, guys. Cheers. Good stuff with the tea. I'm going to drink the rest of this. We're going to chop it up, man. Come check them out. Mio's, downtown St. Pete. I'm telling you, you will not re you do not regret it, but you will be missing out if you don't come through. I'm telling you right now, especially if you're a fan of uh, Mediterranean food. This is uh, this is definitely my new number one go-to spot for, for uh, Mediterranean cuisine. Um, but, well, actually, you know, I can't say that yet because I haven't had the gyro meat yet. You know what I'm saying? Because the sauce can be amazing, but you gotta have the gyro meat too. It, got, it has to match, you know what I mean? Because sometimes you put the sauce on it and then, and then it covers, you know what I'm saying? It covers the meat taste or whatever. So maybe when I come back, we'll do the gyros, then, and then maybe you'll get, get that crown right there. But all right, guys, 
Thank you so much for tuning in. The sauce is official. Stay tuned, guys. I'm going to be downtown for a minute. I'm going to go live. We're going to walk around. We're going to chop it up, see what's going on, see who's outside. We, uh, we downtown, man. Come check me out. Mio's Grill. All right, guys. Peace. Cheers.